Welcome, everyone, to the Tether's Shipyards. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yardmaster, joining our host, the Housecoat Gamer. Yo. Today, we are looking at the last of the Lyran slash Farasan starships. The Swiftest class. Yeah. The only STO design. Give and the reason we say this is because it looks relatively close to a Lyran design. However, this is also taking into account the fact that centuries of change have happened between the last Lyran design and this one. Indeed. That said, we will still be equipping it with the same weapon systems. Yeah. So, might as well get to the war. The 25th century was the rise of a new breed of Lyran starship, with the Klingons needing more... <laughs> everything, because the Federation pretty much knew all of their ships, inside and out. They needed something new, something different. Lyran starships were ancient and obsolete, and Gorn designs were too few and far between. They needed a light warship akin to the Bird of Prey, but not exactly the same. Indeed. Enter... The f enter the Lyran, or Ferocin, depending on what you want to call it, Slithus class. A relatively yeah. small escort vessel that had a lot of the Lyran staples. A modified and upgunned Mauler cannon, disruptor cannons, and a modernized ESG that extended the range just a tad. But not by much. This was enough to mess with Federation captains. That said, once they realized this is a Lyran starship, they adjusted their tactics accordingly and kept to range. Yeah. This is the only Lyran starship currently in service with the KDF. Though I would like to see that change sometime soon. Maybe the very recent announcement of a new old boat. Yeah. Though I'm also kind of, sort of, hoping for a Romulan design. Moving along. <laughs> yes. Moving along, let us move to the stats. Entered service date... 24... 24.04. 2404. Okay. So that is 60 points. Scale. Crew size. Crew size. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a problem now, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we know what the crew size is. Well, considering it's the same size as a bird of prey. Yeah, we'll say scale 3, so between 20 and 100 crew. So, scale 3 brings us down to 59 points. First things first, 9 points in everything. This is a fast attack boat, so it's probably going to be scaled somewhat close to the Burrell. Right, or probably more like the core, our 25th century one. Did that, let's see, core, core, core. Alright, shift this over so I can more easily access it. Alright, so, 
What we did with the core was comms 9, computers 7, engines 12, sensors 9, structure 9, weapons 13. I will mostly set this up the same way, though we can make adjustments. There's probably going to be a lot more defensive. After all, just look at the damn thing. This is probably a bit of an overcompensation for the fragility of older Lyran starships. Right. I mean, just look at it. Sure, yeah. it's got the same twin boom, but it is heavily armored. Yeah. You know, let's drop the weapons down to 11 and bring the structure up to match. So, comms 9, computers 7, engines 12, sensors 9, set, structure 11, weapons 11. This thing is fast, and for a ship its size, it can take a beating, and it still packs a Decent punch, though not quite as much as some birds of prey or go-karts. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward. If that's if that's the new boat, I'm not going to be happy. The incursion class, I want nothing to do with that ship. Eh, right, that's the incursion being... Another the good card. Ah, uh, yes. Hopefully they won't do that one. Hopefully they will do the other incursion. The one that we have statted Klingon-wise. In though. Uh, that's oh, that's it. in insurrection. Right. Regardless. Uh, regardless. It's pretty much statted just like any other Liren design. Yeah. And let's see. I think for, well, for departments, I would say either one point in con and two points in security or vice versa. Probably vice versa. So one point in con. I. Wait, I did one point in con, two points in security, or vice versa. So, one point in security, two points in con. This thing is highly maneuverable and still very, very powerful defend uh, in terms of weaponry. Weapons. Disruptor cannons, disruptor banks, the Mauler, expanding sphere generator... What do you think? Would they add torpedoes to this thing? Considering the Klingons do use photon torpedoes, it might be an option. Alright. We will say photon torpedoes optional. They probably wouldn't do any uh, fully... Uh, they probably wouldn't do any of the more advanced torpedoes types unless you were to do an expanded munitions talent on it. But so that's up to everyone else's recognizance. Yep. So, disruptor cannons, disruptor banks, photon torpedoes, optional, the mauler, expanding sphere generator, and strength to tractor beam. Talents. She's going to be a fast little boat. Yeah. So, improved impulse drives. And definitely. probably improved reactors. The mauler is a power sucker. Improved impulse drive and secondary reactors. Not much room for anything else, so we won't worry about that. And if I recall correctly, I think in STO this thing does have a cloaking device, but we don't need to include that if we don't want to. Doesn't seem to have one here. Huh. Regardless. Yeah. That's the and last of the Lyran boats. That said, I also would like to make an addendum. Anyone who says this looks like a panther skull? It doesn't. It looks more like an eyeballless ant. 
<laughs> yeah, I can sort of see that. Anyway, this is the last of the Lyran starships, but we have one more Lyran vid. We are going to convert, at the very least, to the TMP era Lyran starships, and poss possibly this one too, from base Star Trek Adventures to Captain's Log. A secondary, a spin off subset of Star Trek Adventures, which is much simplified and meant more for solo play as opposed to traditional group play. Regardless. As such, yeah. Bye bye.